Good morning, friends. It is like 8 a.m. Daylight savings got me all whacked out and I am just ready to go. So I'm wondering if maybe you wanna do a little bit of early morning thrifting with me. We could go grab some coffee, wait for the stores to open, try out a new store perhaps. Does that sound fun? It does? Okay, let's go. Our first stop is to my current flavor of the month, low cutie coffee spot. My go-to order for the last like four years has been an iced oat milk latte. Now hold up, is that an iced oat milk latte that he's pouring into my cup? No, that in fact is cold brew, which is not what I ordered, but honestly, no biggie. Still tasted great and in a twist of fate, the barista was very adamant that I take the drink for free since there was a bit of an oopsie. I mean, I appreciate that and I'm just going with the flow here, y'all. So with my free drink in hand, let's have a little bit of a chat about what I'll be looking for at the Thrifty. It's pretty simple. I'm looking for cozy vibes only. We're talking sweaters, jammies, hoodies, whatever. Specifically, I've been wanting some like thin turtlenecks that I can layer underneath graphic tees. So that's definitely on the list. Also, I've been hunting for the perfect sweater vest for years and maybe today will be the day. I have no idea what this thrift store is gonna be like, so fingers crossed that they also got the comfy memo and we can find some great soft treasures together. We're here. Do you see this? I can't believe I've never been here before. It's apparently the best. I lied. I didn't realize that this was the place. I have been here, but it was in college, so. <laughs> That was a long time ago. I don't need any new shoes, but I always gotta look at them. So let's see if there's anything good in here. I mean, I have been wanting a chunky pair of loafers, like with a lug or platform, but too big. Ooh, white dance goes, hello? Oh, damn. I'm glad nothing in the shoes really caught my eye or else we would have been in trouble. Although this just caught my eye. We are entering the cozy zone, AKA sweaters galore. I already found one, it has this amazing vintage tag. It's nice and comfortable. Look at these colors. Okay, we're still looking at the sweaters, but of course I got distracted by the boots. They actually have really nice shoes here, but they are priced accordingly. Like we have these awesome leather pull-on boots and they are 30 bucks. I don't necessarily need them, but they are awesome. I'm gonna try them on. Let's see if they fit. Oh no, they fit perfectly. Okay, let's try the other one. What do we think? Look at this. This is definitely handmade. I think it's reversible too. Lovely. One of the things I really like about making these thrift with me videos is that when I find something cool, I can show you, but then I don't have to buy it. It's almost like just by showing you, I feel fulfilled. So thanks. Thanks for looking at all of my cool finds. This is not one of them. Y'all, they have so many shoes oh no okay we escaped the shoes thank you for your moral support that was difficult and we're back in the comfy section and i wanted to show you something that i've been super into recently it's like this micro pleated fabric if i could find some like big palazzo pants that were just in this micro pleat fabric i think i would die die happy that is maybe it wasn't a great idea to get coffee right before we went thrifting because they don't have any bathrooms and I'm having, I'm having a bit of a struggle, but let's not think about that. How cozy. Love this little like long john tag. Why is it $10? What in the world? Hmm. Where my dragon prince stands at. I'm in the land of the turtleneck, which is a land that I like to be in. This is like one of those bubble shirts that would expand mixed with a sweater. I'm curious. Sweater vest alert. It's just more of a top actually. And it's only $3. That's more like it. 
Okay, I'm not gonna get this because I don't think the color would be my favorite, but how cute is this? Little orange sherbet sweater vest. Are you serious? They have so many of these beautiful long like driving coats, overcoats. Oh my gosh, look at this color. Wow, get yourself to a thrift store if you want a gorgeous coat. Oh my gosh. Okay, I found a two-piece set that has the micro pleats, but there are no bottoms with it. The bottoms are what I wanted. I guess it's what someone else wanted too. Maybe we'll find them. I've looked through everything, but the line to check out is super long. So let's go through my cart, wait for the line to go down, and I'll show you what I'm getting and what I'm not gonna get. Uh, let's scratch that. Actually, I'm just gonna show you what I'm not getting, and then we can save what I got as a little bit of a surprise. All right, for this two-piece set, I really only like the shiny pants, so I'll leave it for somebody else. This vest cracks me up. I don't think there's been more of a perfect vest for the harvest season, but I know I'd only wear this like once, so pass. All right, I kind of regret not getting this dress, but it was so lightweight and I probably wouldn't wear it in the winter, so pass. This was a really nice Pendleton sweater with a cool pattern, but I just didn't think that I'd wear it very often. Eh, I honestly kind of regret not getting this one too. Here's that bubbly sweatery top that was really cool, but I was not confident that my tatas would fit in there, so pass. Here's a surprise, I passed on this cutie sweater vest because, spoiler alert, I found another one that kind of blew this one out of the water. All right, I really deliberated about this sweater. It was the coolest ultramarine color in person, and I kind of regret not getting it. Oh well, what else is new? Case and point, here's another slight regret. I feel like this green sweater vest had the perfect fit, but like I said before, I found another sweater vest that, uh, well, you'll see. And another cutie sweater vest. This one was overpriced though, so hopefully someone else will grab it on like a half off day or something. This little red top was very sexy, but probably too small. These trousers were super cute and they actually fit pretty well, but they were too short. This was cute, but not $10 cute. Oh, this carpet coat was cute, but I wish it was covered only with the gingham kind of checkerboard pattern instead of the florals. No, oh, well. Whoa. No grippies on these socks. I have returned, and I come bearing gifts for myself in the form of comfy, cozy clothing items. If this sweater vest was the only thing that I found today, I would be happy. Like, what are these things? Are they flowers? Are they aliens from Galaga? So today honestly can't get much better. And I have a hojicha latte. Okay, the latte's subpar, but that's on me. Anyways, let me show you what I got today with a cozy little try on. Why is my pinky out? I am so glad that I said no to all those other sweater vests so that this little sweater vest could come into my life. Everything about it is good. The color is vibrant. The flowery aliens are so perfectly bizarre. There are even these little areas of texture with the little pom-poms and checkerboards throughout. I just love it. Thank you, thrift gods, from the bottom of my little heart. P.S. The rest of the outfit pieces are thrifted too, of course. I just picked up these vintage Zodiac boots the other day. They are made in Spain and they are so stellar. I feel like a slinky little kitty cat witchy girl in this sweater. There's a lot I like about it, but first let's focus on the collar. Such a cute little detail. Also, the asymmetry and the texture of the whole thing is just very much my brand. To top it off, there's no itch factor. So soft, very comfy. Okay, I know the blue sweater vest was the real statement piece, but I also got this simple black sweater vest as more of a closet staple. Next up, we have this awesome vintage sweater. I just love the fit of this. It's like perfectly slouchy without being too oversized. <laughs> Anyways, this sweater, it's great. Continuing on the amazing vintage sweater train, this is probably my second favorite piece of this entire collection. The colors are just big chef's kissy. A button did fall off right as I was about to film this section, but I'll fix that, probably. 
Also, peep those cute little Madewell pumps I found at the thrift store last year. Brand new and what a color. Oh, what's this? We have an interloper. I found this freaking amazing vintage Corvette. <laughs> Did I just say Corvette? Corvette shirt for my man Gus. And props to Gus, I think he styled this 90s dad look perfectly. To finish things off, I found two cute little turtleneck tank tops to layer underneath things. I really like how they add a little pop of color to a monochrome look. Did you like the try on, bud? You have anything to say? Good to know. So I think it's pretty obvious that I thoroughly enjoyed our little cozy early morning thrifting trip and I hope you did too. Let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite comfy item that I found and if it's not the sweater vest then you're wrong. And if you'd like to do this again sometime then please feel free to subscribe if you'd like. I try to post videos every week and sometimes they're thrifty, sometimes they're artsy, but they're always a good time. Either way you can keep in touch during the week on Instagram if you want to come check me out there at Kathleen Illustrated. I post a lot of thrifty outfits of the day and I post just the dankest Animal Crossing memes so it's up to you but you're missing out. For now, stay comfy out there, and I will see you next week. Okay, I love you. Bye. Would you like to say goodbye? <laughs>